Well, we're joined again by Alam ben Mayer, an expert on Middle East politics at New York University School of Global Affairs. Good to see you again. Thank My you pleasure. Much. Thank you for having me. So how does the, the conflict in Gaza continue to affect the outcome of Israel's elections? I think it has had a continuing effect. As a matter of fact, that goes back to, 19, to 2005 when Israel withdrew from Gaza. And I think ever since, as a matter of fact, the Likud began to regain strength politically inside Israel. And uh, the last war, of course, with Gaza has further uh, engendered further support f for the Likud party. We've been reading about how the, uh, the Nationalist Party actually has been growing and, and succeeding. Why is that? What's that going again, on? that's the Nationalist Party is even more extreme than Likud, and that's Israel Beteno. And this is a kind of party that uh, now apparently is going to get about between 15 and 16 members in the Israeli parliament. It could end up being a third party. And so we see a clear shift in the Israeli public from to, to, to the right of center. And, and so that would be pretty much the government we're likely to see then as a result of the election? The, the likelihood that is the, those that be the, the right of center will, could be, will be able to garner perhaps up to 65 uh, members in the Israeli, in, in Israeli new parliament. And that will be obviously sufficient to form a, a government if, if uh, Netanyahu so chooses to do. And so the real question becomes, what does this mean for the relationship between Israel and the United States and, and, and the focus of the U.S. effort to try to get peace in the region? Well, I think uh, my, my feeling is that Netanyahu, even though he may be able to form such a government, he will still be looking for the Labour Party as a partner in the coalition government. He wants Ehud Barak to be the defense minister. This will also signal to the Israelis that he is still open to the ne negotiation with the Palestinians, as well as send a message to the United States that he is going to be flexible. Barak represents that kind of flexibility. He also needs him to send a message to the Arab world, to the Palestinians, that he has a very tough defense minister, and that he may very well go for him. And when it comes to shaping opinion in Israel, is it the rocket fire coming from Gaza? Is it Gaza that's really driving this election? Uh, Gaza is, 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 uh, represent uh, uh, a fact of life there because it's been, uh, the violence has been repeated, been daily. But the violence in general, it's the problem that Israelis are facing. And those groups, extremist groups, that to this day have not reconciled themselves with Israel reality. And so the Israelis are very concerned albeit the majority wants to make peace, but they have a great deal of concern as to whether certain parties among the Palestinians are prepared for that. Alam ben Mayer, as always, we appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, my pleasure.